Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with the Ganzo G753. All right, this is my latest in my series of uh, budget folding knife reviews. Note the blue accents, the pivot, and the thumb studs. It's got an axis, uh, axis style of lock, a clone of the axis lock. The Firebird logo. Look at the blade shape. This is 440C. The blade length is about 3.45 inches. And look how early the belly of the knife starts to curve, right? Almost reminds you of a barong, right? So that's wicked for slicing. Now the price on this is around 17, but there could well be a sale or a discount code or something. So check the text description box for that and the link if you want to pick one up. Extremely pointed, you see it has a little bit of a swedge right there as well. This would make a pretty cool EDC knife, would also make a nice gift. Look at the lanyard slot, right? and you see it's got a two position pocket clip, some jimping on a thumb rest, there you see the stop pin, that spacer, a textured spacer. It's even got blue accents on the, uh, on the screws for the uh, pocket clip. The dual thumb studs, they're placed correctly. It opens smoothly. Some have said that their uh, Axis Lock clone is stiff, but mine was not. Uh, this, my knife opens very smoothly, All right, so no problem there. Yeah, this would make a great gift because it looks nice. It's got carbon fiber handle scales. Now with carbon fiber scales, sometimes it's like carbon fiber on top and then there's G10 underneath that. And I kind of looked at the side. It's kind of hard to tell, but I mean, don't freak out if that is the case. The G10 will add strength. Ganzo's uh, super popular in the budget market and getting uh, bigger every day. And a lot of that is driven by uh, sales outside the U.S. You know, the more expensive knives are in your country, probably the more you like uh, the Ganzo's as an alternative you know, to spending that much. And they give you a good amount of usefulness for the low prices that they are. You know, nobody's saying they're going to compete with a $200 knife and they're not meant to. You know, I bet they sell a lot of these in, you know, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, places in Asia where maybe they can't even get a Benchmade or a real one. All right, sharpness demo. This was surprisingly sharp, considering that the blade is kind of, it's kind of thick, you know? You see the grind. Yeah, look how sharp that was. This did well. I'll include links to those other four knives you see in the background. I'm reviewing all of these, just not sure the order, but if you don't want to wait for the reviews, I'll include links to all. Now, the best place to get one of these is GearBest.com. They did send this to me to show to you, right? And a word of advice about GearBest, well, first of all, don't order from them unless you're willing to wait the shipping time, which is about four weeks usually. If you get the express thing, which I never get, but if you get the express thing, it, I've heard that it's two weeks. And try to order several blades in case if one is back ordered or you get a lemon, it's not gonna be a total disaster. You know, that's what most of my subscribers do who report back to me. They order four or five, and, uh, you know, if there's something wrong with one of them, it's not the end of the world type thing. You know, just just be smart and min-max your, uh, your risk versus reward calculation. Okay, so links in the text box, and this has been We All Juggle Knives.